be strong. Be strong. All right, now we're going to install the, the remote no? desktop services. So, get and then put the tie dashboard and then add tie in the roads. No? And then next tie, next, next, same procedure sample. No? And then we have added the remote desktop services. Yeah. So, next, we have remote desktop services. Na yan. And then uh, next tayo. Next. So, may isama yung uh, desktop licensee at features mo lang. Kung so, may isama yung remote desktop licensee at features mo rin. No, gateway, licensing, and session host. Pwede mo naman yung e. Add. And the next. Next. Restart na rin yung destination if required. And then install. Alright, so kung saan yung nag-restart ang atin pong uh, server. Alright, so, since sa word wala ko, uh, palitin muna natin, no, and then, input ako ng insert control or delete para makapasok pa rin sa server natin. And then, balik ko na lang sa full screen. So, yung continuation ng continuation natin. And so, close natin yung remote. Alright. So, bakit ba tayo nagre-remote? No? Ito kasi yung scenario na, for example, wala ka sa uh, trabaho mo, no? And, kailangan mong i-remote yung server mo kasi may pinapagawa sa'yo. So, definitely, hindi na yung, hindi yung server ang nagre-remote, no? Sa client natin. Kung hindi yung client ang dapat na nagre-remote sa server, no? Kasi, administrator ka na, eh. Ikaw na yung server, eh. Sino pa bang i-remote mo, no? So, yung client natin ang dapat na mag-remote. So, meron tayong dalawang klase ng uh, remote, no? Yung isa, yung nagpo-close yung server mo kapag administrator yung ginamit mo and the other one is yung uh, remote na konti lang yung access niya no? so hindi na kailangan na mag mag off yung administrator account ng server mo so subukan natin ngayon yun syempre first, i-check muna natin no? 
dito sa this PC moving properties, may may kita kasi dito mo remote settings, no? Ah, uh, pwede mong i-add yung users mo diyan. Yan. So, add natin yung users natin. Check names yung the main users, ilalahat ko na po, no? Okay, and then okay. And then okay. Then next, para mag-grant natin yan, no? Kailangan po natin puntahan yung security policy or check for that MSC. Alright, so under ng uh, sql.msc, meron tayong local policies. We have the user right assignments. And may kita nyo dito yung allow logon to remove desktop services. Add natin ulit yung ating users and group. So, yan, type natin. Check names natin yung accounts. So, kunin natin yung domain natin ng mga users. And then okay. And then apply. And then okay. Yan. Yeah. So, inalaw natin sila na mag-remote sa atin. So, let's try it on our client. Pasok muna tayo sa isa sa ating mga client. Yan. So, then, pwede na natin i-search dito yung remote. Yan, may na natin yung remote desktop connection. Click po natin yan. And then, click natin yung domain natin. Remote natin yung perish.local. Okay. So, no need ng administrator password, no? Since naka-add yung aking user, hindi ko kailangan na uh, pumasok pa sa administrator account. Kung may kukuhin lang naman ako dun sa backup drive niya, no? So, pwede ko na gamitin yung password at yung user na ito. Once granted, no? Check natin kung may nalabas na certification. Dapat meron. Uh, maging authenticate siya. So, click natin yung yes. So, once lumabas yung certification na yun, automatic, uh, iaalaw ko nyo na mag-connect na. So, medyo matagal lang talaga. <coughs> Nagsa-securing pa tayo ng connections. So, there you go. Na? So, abang pumapasok yan, pataan natin, ito yung server natin. So, hindi naman siya nag-lock. Na? Hindi naman kailangan mag-lock kung uh, limited access lang naman yung ating client. So, yan. So, makikita nyo, pag nag-click ako dito, ito yung server manager, so, I am remoting my server. Makikita nyo rin, ma-access ko yung drive D, no? So, ayan, na-access ko yung file screen niya. No? Ayan. So, yung isa naman po, no? Uh, remote ay yung administrator. So, ano magiging itsura ng administrator kapag nag-remote tayo? So, punta ulit tayo ng remote. Connect ulit natin si kls.local. So, instead of using the user, mag more choices tayo. Use different account and then ilalagay natin dito is administrator. And then, password ng server mo. Okay, so, ito yung itsura naman kapag administrator yung magre-remote. Alright, yes natin ulit. So, kapag pumapasok yan, i-check na natin yung ating server. So, mag-control alt delete tayo. Ayan, nakita nyo, no? Naka-log off na siya. Ito na kasi yan sa client natin. 
Ayan ko na yan. Nakalimot na tayo, no? From our client. So, kayo nakikita nyo yung dashboard. Ayan. Now, so, pag administrator, naglalak po yung ating uh, server. 